Welcome back to the channel and in today's Trailmakers episode I want to try to convert these bombs into bullets because normally they just drop straight down Like that, but what if you just get them to shoot straight forward? So I know this is going to be an extremely challenging challenge if not impossible to get it perfectly consistent And I base that off of my experience trying to convert the bombs into a Launchable projectile that actually gets thrown instead of dropped and the reason why it might be impossible is because I am not a hundred percent Sure that the bombs actually come out in a consistent uh, timing these bomb bays drop four bombs at once as soon as they are triggered, and I know that they drop them within the span of a second, so their average time in between each bomb is a quarter of a second, but based off of prior experiments, I don't know if that's actually a consistent quarter of a second between every single bomb, but uh, this test here, converting them into bullets, this is definitely going to find out the truth on whether or not the intervals are e extremely consistent or not. So the way that I'm planning on doing this is I believe that these pistons, if you put their speed to negative 100, they actually go super fast. And the bombs that release from the bomb bays are supposed to retain the momentum of whatever is happening. So if we shoot this piston out with the bomb bay on the end of it super fast, right when we release the bomb, it should essentially shoot the bomb like a bullet. Now, now you know exactly what uh, what's supposed to be happening here. Now it's just a matter of actually getting it to happen. All right, so let's see what kind of settings I'm going to need here. I have the speed on negative 100. The start position is going to be zero. I'm going to press E to extend it. And auto reset should bring it back, right? Or maybe I don't need auto reset. I don't know. Let me just see what happens. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's not supposed to happen. This bomb bay is technically not supposed to be attached. Wait, what? Why was it floating there? What? That's confusing. Okay, okay, hold on a second. And you know what? I'm gonna set this on a different button than the bomb bay, just so I can test it. This is weird. I've glitched out the game already. Well, let me attach this here, where it actually is, it makes sense. Oh, this is... This is not a good start. All right, we're definitely off to a bad start here. Um, let me check the piston by itself. Okay, the buttons... The button to extend the piston is not working. Okay, well, how about let's put on a normal speed. Oh, because it's negative, that means I gotta do the inverted uh, control. That's why, because the speed is negative, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, now let's bring back the bomb bays and see if we can get it to work. All right, bomb bay. Oh, hold on. Bomb bay. There we go. So now, see, there we go. So I'm, I'm just gonna try to manually press it at the same time. Ready? Pew! <laughs> it just went, it went straight down on my face. All right, there we go. Now the bombs can fall out with no issues. So now, you know, this isn't as fast as I thought it was gonna be. I might need to stack pistons. Oh no, is this not a good, is this not a usable concept? That does not send them flying as much as I was expecting. All right, let me stack pistons. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's pretty fast. Okay, I need to hook them in on the same button. I think I'm doing it wrong. Ready, go. Oh, whoa, 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 what happened? Did you see that? <laughs> that did not go in the direction I was expecting. What? Why are you going that way? Oh no, damaged myself a little bit there. I am so confused about that. I mean, I did, it's something. Okay, what? I mean, the bombs are going out in that direction. This is, this doesn't make any sense. Why does it go that way? Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna rotate the bomb. Whoa! Oh! Wh what? What? Ah! Uh, okay, and it goes that way now. Okay, uh, remember when I said this might be either very challenging or impossible to get consistent? Uh, I'm leaning towards impossible already. Okay, what if... I'm, I'm just gonna try to make things more symmetrical or something? I don't know. Alright, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Okay, no, no, that didn't work. Wait, is the bomb... Did I put it upside down? I put it upside down. Oh, well. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, look at the... Did you see that? That was, like, good! That was what I wanted it to do! Alright, here we go. No! No! 
<laughs> this is so random. All right. We, that. That right there. That is... We just made that bomb into a bullet. Now, can I get a consistency out of this? Right now, I'm manually controlling the pistons and the bomb bays on two separate buttons. So now I'm going to put them all on the same button and then try to set a delay so that we can at least get that first projectile out there. All right, well, set all these to E. Now, let's just see what happens if I have them both go at the exact same time. Yeah, that's kind of what I suspected is uh, it doesn't do anything because it's releasing the bomb at the exact moment that these start to extend. So I think this needs to be on pretty much the smallest delay it can probably be. All right, and... Okay, that was maybe too quick. 0 0.02. What? What did... What? Ah! Oh my goodness, look at me. All right, this is fine. Here we go. Yes! 0 0.02 was the secret. Does it matter when I have this programming set up? Does it now matter what orientation this is in? Like, if I have this the other way, so the bomb is actually opening downwards, does this make a difference? All right, that's good. Okay, so now that I know the programming, look at that. We've totally turned one bomb into a bullet. Uh, now I gotta try to turn all four of them. So, we want it to activate immediately when we press the button, and then we want it to last... Uh, a quarter of a second before it reactivates. So if I have this on a duration of 12, 0.12. All right, so now when I hold the button down, all right, so you can see it automatically resets itself. So now I want it to re-trigger again. So the pause is the time before a block resets its active time. So now if we want this equal up to a, a quarter of a second, we would do 0 0.13, whoops, 0 0.13. So that means every quarter of a second, it should repeat, right? Here we go. That looks like it's what I want it to do. So now the question is, this is a quarter of a second. This is a quarter of a second repeat. Is it going to actually do that uh, to every single bomb now? All right, I'm setting it to the same button as the bomb bays. Let's see what happens. Here we go. In three, two, one. Ah, oh, dang it. That is not con the consistency I was hoping for. Ah, ah. 0.12 down here, so it's a little bit less than a quarter of a second. Okay, ready? What is going on? What is, what is going on with this? If the bombs are not a perfectly consistent interval, there's no way I can make this match. Because the pistons, I can only set one repeat interval. I can't have it change the timing in between on the fly. So, here we go. Three out of four of them? What? What am I supposed to do with that? The second one drops, like, early or something? Alright, I'm just gonna add one more. Like, now all the rest of them are probably gonna be messed up. Except maybe the second one won't be. Let's see what happens. See, now the first two are perfect. One, two, one, two. Oh, why do you do this? So this is where the impossibility of the challenge comes into play. It is very obvious to me right now that they are not consistent intervals between the bomb dropping. So is there any way I could fix this? Maybe, I don't know how to do this yet, but here's what, here's the idea that just popped in my mind. Maybe I have these pistons controlled by separate logic, and then those logic I can have activate at their own timing. This is going to be the initial activation gate, and then this logic gate is going to delay by, it was 0.12 plus 0.15, so that's 0 0.27, 0 0.27. So let me just see if this works now. Okay, the logic gate adds a timing delay. So that means this one needs to activate a little bit slower. 0 0.03 until it, let's just go by 0 0.01 until it works. Okay, no, that didn't work. Okay, that kind of worked, but it's different. It doesn't look as good. Wait for it to recharge. See, it kind of works, but not quite. All right, well, we're gonna keep that like that. Uh, so this is going to have a duration of 0 0.12, and then it's just gonna automatically reset itself. So even if I hold it down, it resets, which is good because then this next one is gonna take over after 
0.27 seconds. And then this will also have a delay of 0.12, so it resets itself. Let's see if this works. Yeah, okay, there's two. They're not perfectly consistent as far as the aim goes. So now we have the first two bombs. So now I need to add another logic gate. This is where the values will suddenly change. So this logic gate is going to keep the same duration, but we're going to go... Um, I don't know if it needs to go sooner or later. Let's just see where it is at the default. Oh, wait. I need to add another uh, 0.28, 0.56. Let's see how this feels. All right. So now it's just a matter of figuring out what this value has to be. Let me just go 0.5. Uh-oh. All right. We're starting to make a difference, though. Oh, oh, I got it. Finally. Oh, this has been taking so long. I went all the way up to 0. 0.6 and I've just been counting my way back down from there. And now I got this. I got three bullets. Okay, the value that I had to settle on, which is really annoying, was 0. 0.51. So essentially we have zero. We have 0. 0.28 of a second. And then we have 0. 0.51 of a second. So it's not a perfect quarter of a second in between, but now what's this next one going to be? So I'll copy it over. This is for number four now. So I'm just going to go straight to what a normal quarter of a second would be, which is 0.75 and just hope for the best on this one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now trial and error again. I just got to start putting in different values. So 0.51 was uh, 0.1 above a quarter of a second uh, interval. So let's just do 0 0.76, add another 0 0.1 to it. Okay, nope, not quite there yet. Oh, it's 0 0.77. 0 0.77 was the secret. One, two, three, four. I think I finally did it. I mean, it's got bullet spread and it's got bullet drop. So when it comes to like a, a gun-based weapon that fires bombs as bullets, these are stat points of weapons in video games. It's got a heavy bullet drop and it's got a, uh, a heavy bullet spread. So it's definitely gonna be more of a short range kind of weapon. Okay, so now, whew, okay, what I wanted to do ideally is I want to have two sets of these. All right, so what I've done is I've duplicated it and then I've put the entire left side on a uh, half of a quarter second delay. So an eighth second delay. So now it should go pew, 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 pew. Let's see if it works as intended. Here we go. Ha ha ha, yes. Oh, that is great. Man, look at that spread though. Okay, so I built this. So let's try to build a plane out of this and uh, see if I can actually start firing bombs as projectiles. And it is going to be burst fire. Otherwise, I'm going to have to build a whole bunch more of these mechanisms and that's just not going to be a good time. All right, I think I put all the stuff on a plane that needs to make a plane a plane and fly around. And uh, by the looks of it, it's got an okay, an okay balance of forces here. So now the question is, can I fire the bombs mid-air? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go! Oh no. Oh, this isn't looking good anymore. This is really not looking good anymore. Oh no, it's terrible. <laughs> the force of moving the bomb bays that quickly does not, uh, the plane does not like that. Newton is coming back to haunt us with this whole, uh, e every force has an equal and opposite reaction type thing. I don't, it's, it's actually, it's really inconsistent on how it affects the plane too. That is not, how do we keep the plane stable when that happens? All right, I deactivated the bomb base so that the bombs are no longer gonna drop, but they're still gonna do the, uh, the pistons are gonna do their thing. Okay, I'm starting to understand, I think, a little bit of the problem here. Okay, all right, I think I know what to do. So the cool thing is um, I can move the bomb bays and pistons away from the logic gates. They don't actually have to be attached to each other. So my thinking is that they are causing friction with the nose. So I'm going to attach them to the wing back here. I mean, the further away I move them from the center of mass too, it's going to amplify the effect they have on the twisting motion, but I'm hoping it's just gonna be like a normal effect rather than this uh, really jumpy effect, which I think is being caused by its proximity to the nose. So let's just see what kind of effect this has now. All right. See, that is way better. 
that is so much better. So there is a little bit of like a back and forth, but that is really easy to handle. That is way easier to handle. Okay, now I'm going to re-enable the bomb base and see if we can actually get these to fire the way that I had programmed to fire. Because now that I'm flying through the air, the timings may have gotten just, it, the physics just may have messed up the timing. Okay, please work as intended. Please work as intended. Here we go. Three, two, one, fire. Oh, <gasps> that looks great. Oh, thank goodness. I thought this was a lost cause for a second there when it came to being on a flying vehicle. Oh, that's so good. This is amazing. Oh, you know what I need? I need to put a non-functional weapon on here just so I can get the aiming reticle and see where I'm aiming. Because the aiming reticle is actually super helpful. So these aren't act these tiny cannons, these are just gonna be here for looks. I'm actually going to completely disable their control, but what that gives me is an aiming reticle. So now I should be able to have a better idea of where my bombs are aiming. Let's see if I can actually take this uh this thing out. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is so much easier. Just putting those tiny cannons there. Alright, ready? Look at that! That was good. That was a good shot. All right, we're gonna have to test this out on the various types of enemies now. The, the biggest thing is gonna be, can I shoot down a plane with these things? I mean, I know I can, theoretically, but how hard is it going to be? But first, I wanna get one of these AA cannons. They're a little bit smaller than the balloons. All right, ready? Oh, I just missed it. The bullet drop. I have to aim a little bit higher. Whoops. I got him with the one bullet that I sent out there. I forgot to hold the button down. Oh yeah, you want to fire at me? Well, how about this? Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe this is actually working. Alright, this is looking good here. Oh no! Oh! Alright, look at that. Got that one, no problem. Let's get this one, and then let's go after some planes. Okay, here we go. Look at that. I mean, the bullet drop, I'm still not compensating enough for the bullet drop, but it's working. All right, I think all of these could take out a red balloon and they're a really big target, so this actually should be pretty easy. There we go. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. All right, there's the planes up in the... One of those planes just teleported. There's the planes up in the air. Uh, I won't be able to lock on, but let's see if I can actually get a hit on one of these guys. There we go. Oh boy, he's kind of slow. All right, ready? Ah, I knew the angle wasn't going to be good there. All right, this is looking good, though. It's looking good. Just stay straight. What? I thought that was going to be a hit. Oh, man. Oh, that was weird. Some of the, my bombs dropped straight down instead of going forward that time. I don't know what happened with the timing there. All right, ready? There we go. I messed that one up a little bit because I, I double tapped the uh, the button, so not all of them fired right. But we got a hit. All right, we got a couple more of these guys here. Okay, where are you? What are you doing? Where are you going? All right, and oh, I thought that was gonna be it. I really thought that was gonna be it. I love these aiming reticles. I feel like they should almost be a uh, a seat toggle on your cockpit. You should be able to enable or disable aiming reticles whether or not you have a weapon. How did that miss? I really thought that was gonna be a hit there. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, I'm still still on the on his tail, on his tail. There we go, that was satisfying. That was really satisfying. There should be one more plane over in this area. I only got two. Oh, he's over there, he's been chasing me. All right, I'm coming after you now. A side swipe? That's like one of the hardest ways to hit something, is when it's going uh, perpendicular to your trajectory. That was like first try on that one too. That was awesome. Oh man, I am so happy with how this turned out because I went into this video thinking this may have been an impossible project and not only did it turn into a possible project, but it actually worked exactly as like the ideal of, the, of what I wanted. It's amazing. Look at this. I have machine gun bombs. I almost forgot to uh, paint this thing up, so I think I've got the uh, the final product here. A wonderful plane that uses bombs as bullets. And I actually flew into that thing and knocked off part of my wing there. Oh boy, repair. Oh, and 
That was weird. Somehow I survived that. All right, can we get off the ground, please? Thank you. All right, see if I can take down one more guy for the end of the video here. There we go. Yeah, so uh, I will upload this to the workshop if you want to give it a try yourself and um, use the timings as well to maybe convert them to your own uh, plane or aircraft. Ugh. But uh, it is important to remember that you have to hold down the fire button, whatever you designate as the fire button, because otherwise it'll just fire the first one and then it'll just drop the rest like that, like normal bombs. But in all honesty, it actually, it actually feels pretty nice to use. Pretty simple to use. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.